Hello, my dear fellow speakers. We were about to start our session in about one minute at 10.30 China time. I look forward to speaking with you all, and I look forward to hearing all your opinions, insights, and stories. We will start in one minute, and we will invite a few speakers and audience to join us as well. And I am your chairwoman today for the panel. It's my honor to be here with you. Hello, everyone. My name is Coco. Good morning, my fellow speakers. This is Mei Chen, the founder of Cosme Citizens, one of the largest women empowerment platforms in China. It's my honor to be here today to be a chairwoman hosting this panel, discussing about how to end sexual object objectification, harassment, and abuse in workplace, and help women who are silent with experience. While we witness the progress of women leaders are leaning in and gaining more rights, men still assume a level of privilege that leads to misuse of power in the form of sexual harassment in the workplace. We tend to ignore the profound consequences for women who have experienced this, the stand back and self-limit, the devalue themselves personally and professionally. I believe that women and both men should work together and experience and engage to work for a better environment for women, and even for women who have never experienced engaged sexual harassment or abuse, shall they stand up? Will the men stand up who can say you have never engaged in any behavior that could be considered sexual harassment or more? How shall both men and women work together to raise authentic voice for women and contribute to the gender equality and the better environment at the workplace? I look forward to hearing all of you your insights, your stories, and your opinions. I would like to invite our first speaker, Ms. Leng Li Jun, to share your speech with us all. The stage is yours. Thank you so much, Chairwoman Mei Chen. You are my role model and also my tutor. Thank you so much. Hello, everyone. My name is Leng Li Jun. My English name is Coco. I am a female CEO, a speech coach, and also meanwhile founding members of Women Leadership Academy of, Co of Cosmic Systems. Uh, meanwhile, I'm a co-founder of Cheating Holding Groups. I'm so grateful to the organizing committee of the summit and Dr. Frank for launching this platform and for Mei Chen for your great leadership. You know, in an offline course, I find that of more than 20 students involved, 20% had the experience of being sexually assaulted when they were very young. So I define my speak, speech today is about sexual assault from unspeakable to fearlessly confront. You know, all the girls were hurt when they were very young. Now, more than 13 years has passed. The harm of sexual assault to everyone has not faded, but still lingers in their mind. One of my classmates is excellent and beautiful, but she has social phobia and relationship problems. She doesn't want to get in-depth in depth contact with others because she thinks that she will never know whether the person who is kind and nice to her will hurt her in the next second. Another classmate, also, she got married and well done her job, but she often has nightmares that is, someone chases after her and wants to hurt her. Some of these ladies were hurt by outsiders, but some were hurt by the immediate elders, such as grandpa and cousin. I feel so shocked and sympathetic. I was shocked because that I didn't expect that sexual assault on women was so common. What I feel sympathetic is that 
men and women who are sexually assaulted will not seek for help from others because they think they are very ashamed. At the same time, women who are sexually assaulted tend to think that they are impure and unworthy. That's infecting all aspects of their career, their life, their love, and self-evaluation. So, how to reduce the occurrence of such injuries? I think first, all parents should give their children appropriate sex education to avoid harm as much as possible. Second, all women should dare to say no to sexual assault and gender discrimination. Third, if sexual assault can, can't be reversed, women should, should become collect evidence not to ask for the police for help. And don't let bad people go unpunished. Fourth, the victims should actively seek psychological counseling or treatments. They should realize that it is not your fault that you have been get hurt. And there's no need to blame yourself or belittle themselves. Negative injuries can be mitigated with female mutual aid groups or professional healers' help. In any case, we advocate that the women be 100% responsible for our lives, protect ourselves and love ourselves. Our value cannot be defined by accidents. Everyone has unlimited potential and we should be brave and face all the challenges in our life. Moreover, we must work together for more women's rights and interests. Establish a more positive, healthy, and fair social consciousness, and promote the improvement of laws and regulations. That's all. Thank you, Mei Chen. Thank you. What a great insight, dear Li Jun. Uh, that's indeed a great perspective to look into as a female entrepreneur who you are helping so many female entrepreneurs to gain their voice to become more independent financially emotionally and in many other ways thank you so much for your ideas and next i would like to invite yo yo Ye to share her opinion i know she's a great mother with two beautiful and successful kids I want to hear your opinion how as a mother and as a professional to contribute to create a bad environment for women. Thank you for sharing, man. Uh, I'm also very shocked by the Legion Sets stories. Yes, my name is Yo Yo. Uh, I'm from Shanghai and uh, I'm working at the inter international company as e Education First as a national service director. And also, I have two kids. My daughter is 12 years old and my son is 10 years old. Let me ask you a question. When do you think we can start our sex education for kids? Before 18 years old or after they graduate from the high school? My opinion is as soon as better. Children are curious about their genitals. I still remember the first time my son asked my daughter's genitals and he said, wow, sister, your pants are broken. What should parents tell the parents, the, the kids about the difference between the boys and the girls? In China, yes, all the Chinese parents are very shy to talk about the sex. How did I do? I bought two books to the, about the sex education to my boy and my girls and put them on the bookshelf where they can easy to see and let them to read the book about sex to understand the difference about the boy and the girls by themselves. And I also have some suggestion for my kids about how to avoid sexual assault. The first one is let the kids understand their bodies and know which part they couldn't show to the others. The second one is let the children stay in the same room with a stranger or others, unfamiliar people. It's also bearing in the mind that sexual assault not only focus on the people they are very familiar with, but also some of the friends and the family members, they also can hurt the kids when you remember for that. And the last one is essential to deep link with your child and to understand the children's attitude, where how they feel about the friends if they really like your friends. Yes, we can invite them to the home. They should meet in public. <laughs> Most important things, 
the good relationship between the parents is also a good moral model for the kids. And the research showed that the more loving couples are, and the current, the, the, the more correct the children's sexual values are. So parents would also share with their children how to creatively express love, such as how to create a uh, surprise and how to create a sense of ceremony. So every kid deserves one hundred love to their parents, which has led them to face all difficulties and provide courage to face potential sexual assault. So that's all for my part. Thank you. Wow! Thank you so much. Thank you for your inspiring and very passionate speech. I can feel that how lucky. You both, your son and daughter, to be your children, be educated in the way that is interactive and it is fun and vivid. Thank you so much, Yo Yo. And I would like I to look forward for more opinions from others. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Thank you so much for creating this passionate conversation, and we will continue to discuss more. And now I would like to hear the opinion from. Jia Chi Zhu, what do you think that we can contribute more? And I would like to hear your speech. The stage is yours. Welcome. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you, Jeremy and Man Chen.、Uh, hello, everyone. My Chinese name is Jia Chi Zhu.、Uh, thank you very much for the invitation of the Horus Asia meeting, Jeremy Chair, Man and Doctor Frank to participate in the sharing of this summit. Um, I'm currently the CEO of three companies. I'm also a social e-commerce speech consultant, a co-founder of Social E-commerce, and a founding member of Women Leadership Academic of Cosmic Systems. So the topic I want to share today is the impacts of domestic violence on children. A family with domestic violence not only has a serious psychological impact on women, but also the impact on children cannot be ignored. It is really serious and even a lifetime shadow. According to the data report of the domestic violence in childhood, the survey results show that as much as seventy-seven percent of the interviews have had. Uh, suicidal thoughts and borderline self-harm behavior, and more than eighty percent of people are prone to negative self-worth in the group process, such as in retaliatory depression and low self-esteem. The overworry that they are not enough afraid of confronting conflict. So I feel the same way because my father had an extraordinary、uh, terror after a few years ago. It caused my mother to be very depressed and stressed at the time. My father is sitting in a relationship temp. Yes. So the scene of how the growing activity at home made me feel angry, stressed, and finally exposed myself. Every time I come home, I just want to be alone, and I don't want to come out. I also didn't believe in marriage and didn't come out until a long time. Therefore,、uh, through my own feeling and、uh, empty, and there are many stories around my. A repeat. Let me release. Let a domestic violence not only affect a generation, but also destroy the children' values. May allow the children to learn and copy the behavior of their parents. Then, affect generation after generation. Or when a child feels inferior and not loved, it will eventually cause greater social problems. Therefore, we must continue to address important these issues, treat every relationship with love and truth, and speak out the word at the same time. This is also what we cosmic citizen global woman empowerment work to do. So the above is my share. Thank you,、uh, thank you, Mei Chen. Thank you. 
Thank you. Thank you, Jiaqi. That's so brave of you to share your stories from childhood and of your mother and your father. I'm so touched. Thank you so much. And I look forward to hearing more in our next uh, session. We will discuss in the Q&A. Now, let's go back to Li Jing. And I would like to know as a mother, a daughter, a successful female entrepreneur, what do you think we can contribute more to create this equality for women? To stop from sexual harassment, all kinds of experience that they do not deserve at all. Wow. Thank you, Chair Mei Chen. Thank you for your question. And I do like to share my opinion with you. Uh, first of all, I think all men should respect and love their mother, their wife, and their, and their daughter. Of okay. course, meanwhile, they should, should respect their female colleagues because we are equal, right? Second, it is true that yeah. men occupy the main position in the government, in the institutions and enterprises. So leaders should take more responsibilities. So I do think that male leaders should formulate relevant laws, regulations, and systems to help protect women from sexual harassment and sexual assaults. And we should promote a culture of equality between men and women. So that's my opinion. And I'm looking forward to more insight of this question. Thank you so much. Thank you, Li Jun. I like it. Uh, I would like to hear the opinion from Yo-Yo as a mother and also as a leader in your business. And you are overseeing all the service all over China for English First. And you're dealing with mothers, girls on a daily basis. So what do you think we should contribute more as mothers, as female leaders in the working environment to create a better environment for our next generation, especially for girls? to stop them from being harassed or have any kind of this experience. We do not want them to experience at all. Thanks for chairman, May Chen's asking. And I totally agree for the Li Ji saying. And the first step, I think, is the main possibilities from the school part. And the school is need to create an initiative focusing on the children's safety. In this initiative, parents could brought into the school to be educated on the broad topic of children protection and within this topic, sexual violence, verbal and also the physical. And within the topic, I think the, all the parents, the, especially for the fathers, they need to be involved. Yeah. And the second step would be in, encourage the parents in the series workshop and the parents' academy, as we call them in EF and to support them to avoid specific risk considerations and also identify challenges for the children's behavior that could indeed tend to exploit of sexual violence. In this way, parents could be better able to respond to such a situation while focusing on children's over well-being. The secret is not to discuss only sexual violence but focus on the overall children protection. Every parent, male and female, wants their kids to be happy and uh, healthy, and it could be a way to better engage male person, male parents into the efforts. So that's what I want to say. Thank you. Thank you, Yuyu. What a great insight. And next, we'd like to invite uh, Jiaqi to share her opinion. I'd like to know how share both men and women, mothers and fathers, work together to raise authentic voice for children, for kids, what you experience, and to contribute to the gender equality, not only at the workplace, but also both at home. Please. Okay, thank you, Chairwoman and Ken, and thanks for Yo-Yo's Yes Sherry. Um, I will uh, do three points. The first one is provide consulting service. Provide consulting service for different customers at the different window. And the second one is thinking by line with the team as the center. No judging, listening, understanding, share the story of domestic violence. So let's she feels that we understand the emphasize and see that life can be changed. 
The third one is reporting for public welfare. We reporting that uh, more people understanding family reality, knowledge, and progress. The less women encounter domestic violence on the behavior of persons and their tend not to speak up. So that is my answer. Thank you very much. And, um, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you so much. And what a great panel we just discussed. We hear opinions from Li Jun, who is based in Shenzhen. Jia Qi is from Taiwan, now in Shanghai. And Yo Yo is, is originally from Shanghai, been working yes. in Shanghai and living in Shanghai for many years, educating two beautiful kids. And Li Jun's kid is about a few months old, not even one year old, right? And now Jia Qi is living with her partner, Cici, in Shanghai. We shall all contribute to the diversity of the culture and the development of the society and also women equality. It's not only up to women to contribute to the equality of women at workplace, at home, but also it's up to men to join us, the family members, parents, children, daughter, everyone to raise the voice, the authentic voice of the society. Thank you so much. It's my honor to be here today hosting this panel with you all. And I look forward to seeing you in the next Horizons meeting, Asia meeting and global meeting. Thank you so much. I hope you can enjoy the other sessions of the meeting 2020. Thank you all. So I'll see you next time. Bye. Thank so you for giving the great opportunity to join the events. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Yo Yo. Thank you, Li Jun. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Look, Thank you so I look much. forward to seeing you soon. Bye. Okay, bye. 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 好了，亲爱的们，呃，我们刚刚这个完整版已经录完了，但是我们现在还是 live 版本。Let's see, let's see. Um, do you want to continue to discuss what you think of this session? I will stop streaming. So, um.